The state of emergency has expired surrounding Jackson's water system. The city of Jackson will now take on more responsibility towards finding a permanent solution. Governor's Richard Lake joins us with reaction from City Council President Ashby Foote as the city moves forward. Richard? So while Jackson will be without state assistance for the foreseeable future, they'll still be receiving plenty of help as they navigate the ongoing water crisis. With a temporary agreement set up with the EPA and a third-party manager coming in, working with those partners will be the city's responsibility. According to Council President Foote, this, these safeguards are crucial to ensure Jackson has a reliable water system. We're going to be responsible for uh, working with the EPA and DOJ, and there's going to be... We're going to have to go out and get grant money to fund a lot of that. We'll have a third-party manager and uh, his operation that um, will uh, hopefully continue to improve the plant's functioning and the system's functioning. Unfortunately, there's a lack, a lack of trust in the city's capacity to operate and maintain the plant. And that's not just in the city here, but it's people at the federal level have that same sort of concerns. And that's why they are stepping in with a plan that's going to have additional oversight uh, at the federal level to make sure that it does function correctly. Details surrounding the extent of the EPA and third parties' involvement are expected to be released soon. And we'll have more reaction from state and city leaders at 5 and 6. Mel.